Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing? I am the Oklahoma Tomcat coming to you from Green River, Wyoming. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, eating healthy while on the road. This video pr mainly pertains to truck drivers. I'll be doing it as a truck driver. But really anyone can follow it. Um, and as most uh, people who follow me know, uh, I have diabetes. I don't take any type of medicine. I control the diabetes through diet. I'm on a low carb diet. And I started out on the paleo diet, but now I don't really follow any of the major uh, low carb diets. Um, I guess the closest I go to is uh, the primal diet. But no matter what type of diet you are on um, or if you're just on a general low carb diet like I am um, this here is a good way one of the problems you have trouble with is eating out uh, especially if you want to grab just something quick to eat don't want to go to a major restaurant or anything like that um, now well, I'm about to show you as far as what I do when I eat out and stuff like that. I don't recommend eating out a lot. Um, there's lots of uh, things you can buy for your truck, especially trucks today, uh, to be able to cook in the truck. And you can stop at places like Walmart or any other grocery store that allows truck parking and do your shopping that way. That's the way I recommend doing it. But if you want to grab something quick to eat and uh, want to stick to your diet most of your restaurants do have where you can get a low carb burger what the low carb burger is is basically a burger any one of their burgers without the bun something to emphasize though is make sure you tell them you don't want no sauce on it um, because if you uh, get the sauce you're kind of destroying your diet now low carb burger what they'll do is they'll lettuce wrap it which that's cool because lettuce is good and what I do if I'm at a restaurant where they have a side salad I'll go ahead and order the meal but instead of fries I'll get the side salad in place of it where I am today they don't have side salad unfortunately so I have lettuce uh, well salad in the truck in this case it's a uh, uh, super uh, greens salad with uh, carrots and other type of stuff in it and then I take the burger and put it on top really big meal <laughs> I probably should have got single I end up getting a double with bacon and cheese Now, of course, you don't want to eat your salad, your burger without any sauce on it. And what I have, and you can find it at almost every grocery store now, which is cool, is ah. sorry, didn't come prepared. <laughs> add my own sauce to it in this case I'm gonna go with ranch and they have low carb ranch uh, with no sugar added I also look whenever I buy condiments is for condiments that don't have any sucralose or any other artificial sweetener in it I'm gonna tell you something there is no reason at all to add sweetener to any type of sauce none um, in my opinion, sauces take a taste a lot better uh, when they're not sweet. Instead, have a uh, more of a spicy taste to them. And it shocks me when I go into this grocery store, look at the uh, ingredients in the lists of uh, how much sauces have sugar in it, including ranch and stuff like that. And I'm like, why? Uh, I'm not going to give the name brand I buy 
Um, but there are plenty out there. Uh, actually, to list a few, you got your, um, I think it's called Primal uh, Kitchen. You got your uh, uh, Tessame. You got your, uh, uh, what are some of the others? Um, there are lots out there. You, know, you just have to look. Okay. Um, and many of them don't have any sweetener at all to it. They just have your regular other ingredients. You don't need them. You don't. You don't need the sweeteners added, uh, artificial or natural. Um, pour your sauce on there, and there you got it. You got a meal. And let me tell you something. This is so much more filling, and the the filling that you get, you know, of being satisfied lasts a lot longer than when you buy your. Uh, cheeseburger with the bun and ketchup in it and uh, fries and your sugary drink um, one of the things that these restaurants will do is all that carbs may fill you temporarily but your body burns it a lot quicker it's better to get the high protein meal than to get the high carb meal okay and when it comes to replacing carbs I don't recommend going to more fatty foods. Instead, go to more vegetables. All right, uh, such as this. You know. Um, another thing, some of the uh, restaurants you do need to stay away from. Taco Bell is on the top of my list to stay away from because everything has rice added to it. Everything. So when you ask for a uh, meal. Uh, with no rice because rice is high carbs. There's no nutritional value to it um, No sauce and no uh, uh, Tortilla or anything if you know get it in a bowl instead you're getting very little it's a snack <laughs> It really is Now taco John's on the other hand they don't put rice in their stuff. So they're a good one to go to uh, If you want the fast food Mexican food um Burger King I don't really go to uh, because of the fact they don't have a side salad but if I do go to them I do it like I'm doing now where I can take it back to the truck and but if I plan on staying and eating it there no um, a very good one the one I like the most is Subway and the reason I like Subway is because they got what's called a protein bowl they also have their salads but the protein bowl you're not paying any extra for and it's got a lot of vegetables and stuff like that in it and it's actually for me a perfect size um, for me you're not getting overfilled like their salads I, I used to get them a lot before they came out with the protein bowl and it was hard to eat at all there's so much but you are paying more for it too um, so Subway is one of my more favorite ones to go to if I'm eating out. Um, Arby's is good. Just don't get any of their sauces. Uh, except for the uh, the gyro uh, sauce or hero sauce, whatever you want to call it. Um, as far as I know, that has no sugar in it. It's just yogurt and spices. But... Uh, they have a side salad and you can add any of, you can you can order any of their stuff with the side salad and be able to add it to the side salad instead of the bread or the pita my favorite is the greek hero or gyro with the side salad it's very good but i just thought i'd uh share that with you guys you know to help uh those that want to get uh healthier um lose weight I'll tell you something the low carb uh, I, call, I call it diet and that's one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to just do a fad diet um, which is why I don't really follow any of the big uh, uh, low carb diets that's out there but it's more of a lifestyle change and going low carb you lose a lot of weight and you can keep it off uh, 
if you just, you know, make a lifestyle change instead of a, a diet. And one, one of the great things about it is because there's so much you can do and you don't have to give up on eating, you know, is that it's easier to stick with. You know, it's just a matter of getting over that little hurdle of the temptation of the carbs because your body is addicted to the high carbs, the sugary stuff and the other carb breads and things like that your body gets addicted to it so it's a matter of you know getting over that hurdle which is hard I, i'll admit it is very difficult to do but it's easier to stick with because of the fact you're not have to starve yourself you're not have to count things you're not have to do any of that stuff and the other thing a misconception people have is well your body needs carbs yes it does but there's carbs in everything you eat of one form or another. Your fresh fruits have carbs. Your vegetables have carbs. Um, you're not going to be short on carbs. You know, during the first week or so you're on, you know, you make the change. It's going to feel like you're short on carbs. But you're really not. Um, as long as you continue eating. And the best thing to do is eat five times a day, not three. You have your three meals and then you have your good snacks in between the meals. And that there does help you out also. And there's a lot of uh, snacks and stuff like that you can have. You know, you don't have to be a rabbit. You don't have to, you know, just eat fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And because the low carb uh, diet is getting so popular, there are a lot more manufacturers out there making this stuff. Um, I go in shop right now and there's a whole section of low carb uh, healthy foods and snacks so you're not going to starve you know and that's one of the things that makes it so easy you know it's not any extra work it's just a matter of staying away from the bad carbs breads anything made from wheat uh, corn um, and things like that if you want to know more about this diet, you can look up uh, the keto, paleo. I recommend the primal diet. And it does give you a good list of uh, uh, things you can eat. Another thing is do not substitute sugar with things like sucralose. And that's where you got to watch out with the keto diet. Um, when you're buying things that says keto, um, read the label. Uh, instead, if it, if you need the sweet and stuff like that, I recommend stevia or monk fruit or sugar alcohols, stuff like that, okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat, and y'all have a great day.